What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. God sent this video and I decided, hey, why not do something a little bit different and we can uh, react to this chase that happened in the South Florida area. So this chase happened, uh, started in Homestead. It had a van full of suspects inside the vehicle. The van itself was a rented U-Haul van. It was a stolen vehicle, several subjects inside and the chase uh, at this point when the chopper picked it up was going on for about 15 minutes. Now when you're in some kind of pursuit like this, you're usually advising over the radio and if you're in a city area or working some kind of jurisdiction that's off the highway, you'll be advising, you'll be advising and when the vehicle gets onto the highway, you'll let your, no your dispatcher know, hey, can you advise the Florida Highway Patrol, the troopers that patrol on the interstate there on the turnpike for this, for this uh, chase, hey, can you advise them and see if they can get in to help us out? So this chase has been going on for 15 minutes and uh, I don't want to date myself, but if you're looking at the video, it's somewhat a scene out of the OJ Simpson chase with the white Ford Bronco when there was just hundreds and hundreds of cops uh, behind the white Ford Bronco. In this case, um, this has been going on for 15 minutes. So each jurisdiction is being asked for help as they go through. They pass through several jurisdictions at this point. So you can see all the different kind of uh, police cars that are on there. Now this started in Homestead. Uh, it was a subject that was wanted for a battery on a police officer. It means they physically assaulted the police officer, uh, not let alone they're in a stolen van. And then this van is actually wanted for several thefts in the next county up, which is Broward County. Have you seen all the videos I've done on Florida Highway Patrol? They're equipped to perform a pit maneuver, which is a precise uh, immobilization technique. Basically, they're hitting the quarter panel to spin out the vehicle and render them in inoperable. So they're trying to stop the vehicle by touching that quarter panel and spinning them out and hopefully making contact with the side rail or something. So just basically to get them to stop. Not only is this a van, so it's not going to top out. It's not some kind of SRT Hellcat that's running from them. Uh, but this van also has a blown tire at this point. So to keep up with the van is fairly easy. Now, because you, you can see there's traffic on the road. I believe this took place uh, midday. So it's not rush hour traffic, but if you live in the Miami area, there's always traffic. So these troopers are going to attempt to perform a pit maneuver, but they have to do it in a way where it's not going to go into other vehicles or cause an other vehicle to have an accident. So they might look for a break where there's no vehicles or if there's a slower speed and they can contain it. So right now, the troopers are just kind of letting them know they're there. This is your opportunity to stop. Uh, but if you continue going, we're gonna eventually stop you. So this is what's happening now. And the van is uh, continuing going. As you can see, it has its blinker on. So even though it's gonna get a whole bunch of tickets for speeding, that improper lane change, probably not going to get any tickets because, yeah, he does have his blinker on. He'll be able to beat that in court. Yeah, they're looking for the opportunity to do that right now. They've got uh, uh, slower traffic, mostly is the uh, uh, the uh, cargo uh, carriers and uh, tractor trailers there, but uh, two units now pulling alongside here. Uh, again, northbound, just past uh, north uh, northwest 106 street so we're getting into the area we're going to be coming into medley and and to uh, across the okeechobee road exit here shortly so uh they are uh, uh there's an aviation unit i want to point that out to you just uh, just above us or uh, i'm sorry just below us that's watching also uh and giving uh, information out to police officers as to exactly where this vehicle is so uh hopefully uh we uh, the uh, officers there on the ground can bring this uh, to a, uh, a, com a conclusion here without any injury to anybody, but a very dangerous situation here. A high rate of speed here by the vehicles that uh, you see in the f a picture frame here. We're going to bring the camera back out here one more time to show you. So in a moment you're going to see a um, pit maneuver. And I just want you to watch the takedown on this one. Uh, when I saw it, it was a little crazy. Now you can train and train and train to do felony stops and you know do high risk stops but never they're never going to be the same oh we just hit a car oh, there you go he just made contact with that silver vehicle and that trooper said enough is enough there you go have a nice day nope let's pin him here nothing happened he says you're not stopping me i'm going to continue going now there is some damage. I saw some damage uh, happen to the tires. He's going to come on the inside, give him another touch. Boop. Get control. Let's see what happens here. 
looking for out the window, actually looking down at it out my window right now. We've got more officers pulling up. Obviously, as we said before, a dangerous situation. The officers do not know whether these people are armed or, or exactly what their intent is, other than to, to try and, and try and to elude the police. Okay, I got it back, backward now. This point. He's going to be pinned in there. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's still trying. They have him heads on. They're going to conduct the felony stop. And he continues going. This guy's determined, whoever's driving, this guy's determined to get away. So that means when you're going to go take them into custody, expect some kind of bailout or something. Because, yes, you got me stopped my car, but if he's that determined, more than likely they're going to be ready to open those doors and get out of there. So as you can see, they, they're pretty aware of their crossfire. They kind of have like a U-shaped around the vehicle this point it is it turns into a clown car one subject out everyone approaching there's a subject there he's thinking about going he's on the side of the wall that's that's pretty dangerous that guy's that guy's trying to jump over the wall that's a 50 foot drop There's so much happening right now. He is hanging on the side of the wall. Yes, at this point you want to grab your buddy's belt, hold on to those guys that are holding on to the subject because God forbid they go over, you got to hold on to their belt to make sure they don't go over. And then if you're behind that guy, you're holding on to their belt and creating like an anchor and then just yanking that guy up. You see what I was talking about? Just just trying to get away that's like a 50 foot drop that this guy tried to go over i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the video here i'm gonna rewind it just a little bit see the the thing is it's a felony stop turns into a felony stop but on a on a felony stop this is one of the reasons why textbooks he you can monday morning quarterback all you want but things are happening things are fluid textbook you want to pull them out one at a time at this case people start coming out if i bet you if they had a roof they'd be coming out the roof too so both doors open up the back door opens up. This is a dangerous situation at this point because you don't see who is in the in the passenger because there's no passenger side windows. And judging by that it's a cargo van, there's no seatbelts in there in there. So all those pits, I can just imagine people flying around. But you can't see what's going on as an officer. Is there somebody in there armed? These guys are already wanted for a battery. They're, they're refusing to stop. Several attempted pit maneuvers. And at the same time, all the doors open up. So it's a little hectic. Who do I concentrate on? A lot of people coming out at one time. If you can control the situation, it'd be ideal to have one at a time come out so you can have a little more control. In this case, you can't control that situation because it's so fluid. So the officers had each other's back. They watched their crossfire for the most part. I'm, what I see, great tactics. The guy jumps over the side and then it's like, oh, to add a little bit more, a cherry on top. This guy's about to go over the side. So everyone's in custody. They did a great job uh, being able to capture everyone. As you can see, they had a canine there. Uh, at this point, uh, the canine's there barking at the driver. The driver's like, I'm not trying to get bit. Passenger comes out. There's another person inside the vehicle, and then somebody goes out the back. I'm telling you, this it, it became a clown car at one point. <laughs> it's just taking all those pits that uh, they were bouncing around back there. It is what it is, you know. You give them a seatbelt ticket. And I see some troopers there that were on the last vlog, the canine handler. Shout out to Alvarez doing his thing out there. Good job, guys. Four subjects in custody. Um, they were doing, they were on some kind of uh, theft spree up in Broward. And all these subjects now in custody without further incident. Um, this video was sent to me, said, hey, take a look at some of your guys that you just featured on your last vlog. So I said, wow, let, let me do a little uh, play by play here. And we can do some stuff like this. If you guys have any videos, send it over to me on my IG. Here's the handle. With that being said, stay tuned for that next Police Vlogs episode. I'm actually editing it right now. It's with the Davie Police Department. We're going to check out their mounted unit, go out on patrol. And then we have where I visited the Wheeling Factory coming up as well. So if you guys like this type of content, please send me some stuff. Tag me in some stuff. Share it with me. I'll do a little critique. And then we'll move on. Good job, boys.